Okay, so we're given the left-hand side of the question, and we're asked to rearrange it into this form here. This sign in the middle just means is equal to, for all values of x, and it means it's an identity. And we're not focused on the right-hand side, we're looking at the left-hand side, and we just look at the right-hand side so that we can get an idea of what it wants us to do. And it's a completing the square question, looking at that. So when we complete the square, we just focus really on this bit here, and the minus 11 we'll deal with at the end. So this left-hand bit here, well, first of all, I can divide out 3 from both of these terms and factorize it. Now, we do have that minus 11 at the end, which we've got to make sure we keep in mind. Okay, now the x squared minus 10x in the bracket, we can then complete the square with that. So the way I'm going to complete the square is I'm going to put it x minus 5 squared. Now, I'm going to just stop there and I'm going to divert because I want to find out what happens when I have x minus 5 squared. So we have uh, x minus 5 times x minus 5. And we will have an x squared minus 5x minus 5x and minus 10x and then plus 25. So that all looks great apart from this plus 25, which we need to get rid of. So I'm going to minus 25 at this point here. okay? Because it creates a 25, I need to get rid of that 25. The rest of it's great. The x squared minus 10x, fantastic. But that 25 we need to get rid of. And then we've got that minus 11 that just kind of hangs on at the end. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is expand these bracket here. Okay, So I'm going to do 3 times x minus 5 squared. Okay, I don't need to expand that further. And 3 times minus 25, which is minus 75. And then we've got the minus 11. So the bit in purple here is exactly the same as the bit in purple in the question. I have not changed anything. But at this point here, I can get that minus 75, and I can take away the 11. So I'm just going to rewrite this, but I'm just going to do collect those two together into minus 86. Now this is exactly as it's shown in the red. We've got a number times a bracket in the bracket x plus a number squared and then plus another number. So m is 3 because it's that's the number before the bracket. The p inside the bracket is minus 5 and be careful to have the minus there um, because it's plus in the question. And the q is also minus but it's minus 86.